Hello everyone. In this little video we want to utilize the rank criterion of the observability matrix in order to find out if our example of the aerosol oscillatory circuit is actually a fully observable system. So for that I just have rewritten here this example uh, where we have two states, the capacitor voltage and the inductor current, and we have assumed that we have direct access to the capacitor voltage uh, which we can measure. So here's actually a little typo, this should be x1 of course. So we measure x1 directly and we do not have direct access to x2 which is the inductor current. In the previous lecture we have seen in order to evaluate if we are able to observe then at least the second state that we need to come up with the rank of the observability matrix big O and in this second order system with a scalar output, this uh, matrix is a two by two matrix, which is C, C A. And what is C? So this is C, our C vector in this case, because we have two states and just one output. So that is zero, one, and then we have C times A. So what we get from that is basically zero and then uh, one C. If we have a look at this matrix, we of course see that this vector here, the one zero vector and the zero one over C vector, they are definitely linear independent from each other. Uh, and that is completely independent from the specific choice of this capacitance value here. As long as this capacitance is greater than zero and therefore well defined, these two vectors will be linear independent and what we will see is actually that, um, okay, we want to take the rank by the way, so rank of this and rank of this, that the rank will be two for the system which is identical to n, so our two states, and therefore we can show that this LC circuit is fully observable. So that means although we just measure only the voltage at that capacitor, we are also able to estimate using estimator techniques, which we will discuss later during the lecture course, uh, to estimate this inductor current. And this is an important information because this basically means that due to, for example, costs or engineering effort, we do not need two sensors here in order to get also the information of the other state. Just one sensor is sufficient for this state such that we are also able to measure or to estimate this state. By the way, the example would also, vice, would also work vice versa. So if I would change that here to 0, 1, you can do that at home, we will be also able to actually estimate the capacitor voltage based on a measurement of the inductor current. Thank you for listening and see you soon.